Hey guys, this is my vlog for VidCon Day 3. I want to warn you up front, it got a little longer than my standard four minutes or less. I tried to cut it down below four minutes, but basically this features a lot of interviews with other people who were there at VidCon, and I started cutting their interviews out to save time, and then I realized that that's not right. I should leave them in. So that's just to let you know. Other than that, I really hope you enjoy the vlog. Here we go. Hello, Rebels, and welcome back to my life. I just got to the Anaheim Convention Center today after making a film with We Make Movies. That film, by the way, will have a behind-the-scenes video that goes along with it, but that behind-the-scenes video is going to be exclusive to my Patreon patrons. So if you want to see what goes into making a film, which by the way we shot at the YouTube Space LA, which is gorgeous, you should really go over to Patreon and become a sponsor, even if you only become a patron for like a buck a month. Speaking of Patreon, if you saw yesterday's video, you know that I attended a panel with the founder of Patreon. Well, we actually talked afterwards for a little bit and like he invited me to contact him and some of his people about my campaign and like find ways to spruce it up, which I thought was pretty cool. Anyway, it's the last day of VidCon, which makes me very sad. And I'm getting here late, which makes me even sad. Matter, but a meetup just started with Michael from Belated Media, and that's the first thing I'm going to. It's weird, the energy feels different. It feels like things are winding down, which I guess makes sense for the last day, but I wish it felt more like the first two days. Oh, uh, it's overexposed. You know what, whatever. Fuck it, I got the Vinci. So Michael was obviously super, super cool, and it was good to be able to talk to somebody who is a YouTuber, and like a fairly big one, and find out, you know, what's his take on this whole event. Because honestly, even when you do a signing, or you do meet somebody, or you put your book in John Green's hands, you don't really get to find out how they're taking the whole experience. And that got me thinking about something that I think John Green said yesterday. He was in one of the panels that I saw, and they were just talking about being grateful for being able to appreciate other people's viewpoints. And that got me wanting to find out what other people's viewpoints were on VidCon. So I started asking. So what was your favorite part of VidCon? I think my favorite part of VidCon was the special effects panel. I didn't even know anybody on the panel, but they were so good when they talked to us and it felt like they didn't have a facade and they were being real. I think meeting all the creators and everything was really, really cool. And SourceFed. And SourceFed. That was amazing. My favorite thing of VidCon so far has just been like, um, seeing all the creators I watch online all the time, just like walking around and interacting with them. Uh, and the panels have all been really cool. I came towards Washington to hug. And I told them I love him. <laughs> I can go home now. That's all that that's all I needed in my life. And I just had like a conversation with Hank Green. It was just us talking for a while. Meeting Bernie Burns because Bernie, uh, CEO of Rooster Teeth, because he is my super idol. Probably just the atmosphere. I like meeting new people with like kind of the same interests as me and getting to see the people that you spend so much time like learning about their like blogs and stuff like that. Finally get to see them in person and know that like the time that you've been spending is like for like someone that actually has like feelings and like meeting them is just really cool. Being able to see like the people I spent so much time like watching over the internet, like finally see like their actual personality. Because there's always like two sides to the people that decide to see like behind the camera and decide to see in real life. My favorite part was meeting Susie, which which I really liked because he's really great. He's so sweet. Cause, like I don't think anyone else would have said that. Yeah. I just love seeing like YouTubers um, walk around and just meet like, normal people and meeting people that uh, enjoy making videos watching YouTube. Everywhere you turn in there, there's a new person to meet, whether it be somebody that you watch on YouTube or just a new friend that you can make, and I love meeting all the new people here at VidCon. My favorite part of VidCon has been the panels, just getting to hear uh, YouTubers who are like, have more views, talk about how people who don't have as many views, um, they give us advice and inspire us to want to work on our YouTube channels. I met John and Hank today. And I met a lot of the British YouTubers yesterday, and I met Troy today. I really liked walking around the exhibit hall and just seeing all the cool booths and getting free stuff and running into cool YouTubers that are just walking around who are willing to sign. I really liked the education and YouTube, or education and online video panel that I went to yesterday. I had a lot of great educational YouTubers, including John Green, and it was a really interesting topic. Meeting all the Viners and uh, YouTubers that all make YouTube videos and how they had the Q&A questions. It was, it was pretty cool to see them in real life and actually thinking, oh my gosh, like these are the people that inspire me to do so much. Meeting all of them, my favorite YouTubers and like creators and everything. It's really weird to see them like in person, especially because like I'm so used to seeing them on a screen, like this small. Favorite part of VidCon so far? This book is pretty good. 
Are you serious? <laughs> Show the book. You've been reading a book all VidCon. VidCon is just a sense of community because, like, uh, everything that's been like really awesome about it has been with other awesome people that I've met here or connected with or we've done together. And even like meeting the smaller YouTubers or the big YouTubers, it's always the best when everyone's respectful and everyone's just. I don't know when when everyone works together or you all like the same thing. It's just okay, quick narration time. Those last two interviews were from Hallie and Josh, the two best friends I made at VidCon. I met them Thursday evening and we spent all three days together. A lot of those interviews you just saw took place in the line for the Tiffios film screening on Saturday night, preceded by a quick talk from John Green, and then we watched it in a room with hundreds of people. In my case, that might have been a mistake. And just like that, VidCon 2014 is over. I mean, I guess not technically. That behind me is a line of people waiting to get into the VidCon prom. Which I'm sure is going to be fun if you like that kind of thing. I don't. I'm uh, a little more sad than I thought I would be. Gotten to meet some really amazing people, uh, both creators and uh, other online video enthusiasts. I wish there was one more day. You know, uh, it's been uh, it's been a pretty awesome, amazing experience. Thank you, Hank and John for putting it on, and for everybody else who helped the staff, the volunteers and everything. I'm sorry, I don't mean to get all weird about this. Um, it probably doesn't help that I just saw The Fault in Our Stars. <laughs> uh, that's not an easy movie to get through when you have family history with that kind of thing. And it also doesn't help that I've had three hours of sleep two nights in a row. So maybe it's a good thing that VidCon isn't happening again tomorrow. Oh my goodness, that light is much better, isn't it? Thank you to everybody who's come on the journey with me, watching the videos the last few days. Thank you to everybody who did interviews today. That was my favorite part of VidCon. You were my favorite part of VidCon. VidCon 2014, I miss you already. I'll be back next year. If we met at VidCon this year, don't be a stranger. Stick around the channel, but reach out to me on Twitter and Facebook so that I can, you know, communicate back to you too. I like you. I don't just want you to like me. Thank you for watching, Rebels. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.